Do you find your dog barking a lot in the windows or barking whenever your guests come into the house? Does this look familiar to you? And is it annoying? Hi, I'm Sam Maybe, Master Trainer and Behavioral Therapist with BarkBusters. Today we're gonna to be talking about barking. So there's a lot of different reasons why your dog might be barking, but we're here to talk about two of the major reasons that we find dogs barking. The first and most common one we find is overexcitement or demand barking. So do you find your dog barking constantly at you? Is your dog constantly on you, seeking affection, seeking attention? These can kind of come from multiple different areas with your dog. Most frequently, our dog's not getting the right output in their energy and it's coming back in this naughty behavior. So a couple of things that we need to implement to really properly change this behavior. We need to create a really good routine around exercise and mental stimulation for our dog. Making sure that our dog's getting the right foundations. If there's no excellent output, then it's always gonna come back in that naughty behavior. Always make sure you're considering a good combination between mental and physical stimulation to help relax and tire your dog. Keep in mind that every breed or age point will have a different requirement for exercise and stimulation. The other thing to really make sure is that you've got a really good training routine. Right, if your dog doesn't find you are giving them what they need, then they're always gonna be a little bit more on that naughty side, right? We'll get a little bit more of that demand barking. The other most common reason that we find dogs barking is fear. We've all seen that dog barking in the window or we've seen that dog barking at everybody passing on the sidewalk. Often these dogs feel very threatened, they're feeling vulnerable, they're feeling frightened of what's around them. There's a couple of really key things that we need to implement to make sure that our dog feels safe. So one thing is to create a safe space for your dog. We know that the house is technically safe and we care for our dog, but often they feel very vulnerable in that open area. Creating a nice crate somewhere or a little zen corner that your dog can rest and relax and they can escape, they can truly feel undisturbed, um, is gonna be key to make sure that your dog feels truly safe in the home. The other thing that we need to make sure is that our dog feels that we are the leader in the home. If your dog doesn't feel like you can handle their safety, your dog is always gonna take over that responsibility. Most common myth that we get about barking is that dogs always bark, it's normal, it's just what they do. In a sense, this is true, dogs do bark to communicate, but at the same time, a dog that's truly happy and feels no stress doesn't feel the need to be barking unnecessarily or excessively. So if you're finding that your dog does have a really big barking issue and you need help, reach out to the local BarkBusters trainer in your area to get a comprehensive assessment to get extra help with this behavior. Helping dogs and helping people is what we love to do.